Alright everyone, so surprisingly I'm back with another quick tips and tricks tutorial. Uh, in this one I'm gonna teach you all how to properly animate uh, hair. Create a flowing movement uh, that basically well, will form the basics of animating hair. I've already seen some people uh, attempt animating hair using water waves and uh, they get the gist of it but there are some fine, some fine details that they're missing. So in this video I'm uh, gonna be showing how I uh, am animating my hair. Right, so first off we're only gonna be focusing on animating our hair, just using a single effect. The effect we will be using is water waves. Now there's a clear uh, process of steps that I highly suggest using in the correct order to get the optimal result. Right, so first when you create the effect, it's gonna look all wavy. Don't bother with it. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the direction right. right. So the way to do this is just click, uh, press the I button here. This will hide the water waves effect. Next, determine the direction the hair is waving in the image itself. In this case, it's clearly moving this direction. So we want the waves to move this direction as well. So we're gonna get the direction slider right here and we're gonna slide it all the way so that it moves in the correct uh, direction. Right, around here looks pretty good. So I'm gonna just round it up because that's easier to see. So I'm gonna put it to 5.6. All right, next up I'm just gonna do some basic settings. I'm gonna set the scale to 20 just to make it a little bit uh, less intimidating. Also makes it easier to animate, uh, to draw the opacity mask while it's still uh, moving. Set the speed to 2, so it's less move, just it's slower. And the strength to 0.05. This makes it very uh, slight. And then we were able to uh, draw the opacity mask without having the animation screw it up for us. Alright, so when you draw the opacity mask, I prefer to set the opacity on the bottom left here to around 44 and 44. This makes the brush a little uh, just smoother and when your hair eat, uh, the movement reaches the edge of where it's supposed to be. Uh, when you have a low opacity it goes a little bit further but it doesn't have a hard stop so it just creates a more smooth uh, animation. Right, next up uh, is just basically drawing all the hair with the opacity mask. The second part is using the value option right here. I always go straight to the middle because uh, from there it's just easier uh, to use because you're gonna use different values for uh, different parts of the hair. For example, at the top of the head, uh, the hair shouldn't move as much as the bottom because quite simply, when you're standing in the middle of a storm, for example, and you have very long hair and the wind is blowing directly in your face, uh, the hairs that are directly on top of your head, uh, they're not bouncing up and down for about 50 meters or something but the ones that are at the end of your hair, which is probably a meter long in this example, uh, they'll move much more. So if we're gonna use a value 138, I'll always just start right in the middle. As you can see, because we set the settings quite low in the correct direction, already is our movement pretty easy uh, and smooth, and it doesn't hinder us drawing uh, what we want animated at all. Nor do you really have to be precise with waves, so that all compared to shake that is. So that's uh, a big improvement in my opinion as, as well. And makes it really easy to quickly just do. Right, so now we got this part pretty much all drawn. then when we get more to the top of the head we want to lower our value so I'm gonna go to 103 you don't want to do it like in one big jump you want to do it slowly with multiple uh, smaller values so we're gonna do this part with 103 and then when we go up here a little then we're gonna reduce it again to let's say four, uh, 74 it's not really an exact science just reduce it bit by bit Till it looks nice. You'll probably sometimes you'll have to correct yourself, but that's okay. 
and getting an effect correct on the first try is something I haven't done ever, I think. It just takes a lot of reiteration. Right, so here, for example here, I just wanted to animate a bit more. So I'm going to go back to the 70. I'm right, going to reduce it here to 60. So we've got this side of the head, we got animated, it's still looking a bit wonky, but we want this to move first as well. So let's do the exact same thing. Let's pick a uh, value right in the middle and repeat our process. Now it's okay if you overshoot a little because you can always just remove it later. Remember, Ctrl Z also works in this program, so makes it very easy if you overshoot something and you want to correct it real quickly. Oh, that was a bit too large. Right, and here we're going back to the top again, so we want to reduce the strength. So I went to 96 around here. There's a difference of about 40 in the value. Right. Let's just do this. There we go. Also overshot here a little, so I'm going to remove that. As you can see right here, the hair bounces against the outer layer of the opacity mask. But because it's a low value, it isn't really a hard stop. It's just a smooth, where it just um, it reduces in size rather than it just stops while uh, the surrounding hair moves uh, further. So that's why I really suggest using a uh, low opacity. All right, so going back up here, using 74, going a bit further, and then reducing it to around 50. Well, that's a bit high. this as well on this move. all right so now we've pretty much drawn every part of the hair that we want animated all right this is the part where we're gonna uh, lay down the opacity mask for a bit and then we're gonna uh, start toying with the properties here again all right so first of all I think this movement is just a little bit too, li uh, too little so I'm gonna increase the strength to uh, 0 0.06 Right, it's already a little bit better, but I want to see if I can uh, increase the strength a little more. Alright, 0 .0 .0 0 0.07, excuse me, looks right a bit more in the correct direction. But I still think this hair is just it's, it's a bit too wavy. Generally you want to have one wave. The, the end of the hair should be at the end of the wave, and the start of the hair should be at the start of the wave. So you just get like this animation, not this multiple ways in one animation. So you're, we're going to reduce the skill to about 10. All right, this looks a bit better. All right, now we've got a, a smooth flowing hair animation. And from this part, you can tweak with the uh, settings with the speed, for example, if you'd like. You can set it to 5, which is super fast. You can set it to 50, which is really fast. Just tune it to your likings. I usually uh, put it somewhere between 1.5 and 2.5. But it also depends on the uh, speed of the animation, of the other animations in your wallpaper. So you don't want your hair, for example, to move way too fast uh, when the image itself is just very calm or not moving at all. Try to uh, keep the pace compared to uh, the other speeds in your wallpaper. Alright, so uh, I think I can increase the strength even a bit more. Now, uh, we've already talked about the strength, the speed and the scale. Uh, the direction as well, but the perspective we have left alone. The reason why you don't really want to toy with the perspective, oh, I already messed up here a little bit by increasing the strength, so just removing a little bit more. And there we go. Alright, so the reason why I, uh, I haven't touched the perspective is simply because when you uh, even put this to the lowest value, 0.01, you already have massive implications because what it does if I just put it all the way up you can quite clearly see it 
Um, the perspective basically draws the strength of the waves. Uh, to better put it visually, uh, I'm just gonna create a new waves effect and just increase the strength uh, perspective and boom. As you can see, it increases uh, the width of the waves basically, uh, which is why you don't really want to use it because the same effect can be uh, because you can uh, widen the width of the waves. Oh, what a sentence! By just uh, increasing the strength and using the uh, opacity. Uh, the value and just using this slider compared with the strength and the scale. The perspective is pretty pretty harsh and it doesn't really uh, I mean you can tweak it but it's also global so kinda hard to get a precise uh, result. So I generally prefer I'd say stay away from it but if you want to try working with it I have used some cases where I just bumped it up just a little bit to increase the strength of my animation. But usually you don't really need to uh, use that uh, perspective setting. And this is basically it. If you follow these steps, um, fix the direction, then set the uh, settings pretty low, draw the opacity mask, use different values for the opacity mask, that's important, and then just tweak the settings to your liking until you've finally figured out what uh, animation you like most and that's how you animate hair